Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a follow me to work vlog. I am going to be working from Wednesday until Friday and then Saturday I'm working a private event. If you guys are interested to see what my bartending lifestyle is, um, how work goes, how busy we are during phase one or two in whatever we are in, um, we just started doing outdoor dining and to-go drinks. Uh, this Wednesday will be my first shift working, so I'm really excited. I hope a lot of our regulars are there, and I hope that you all come out. And Saturday, I'm actually doing a private bartending event for a friend. It's her birthday, and she's having a barbecue in her yard. So I'm going to be working that for her. But I want to take you guys along with me. You can see what it's like in the bartending world. If you're interested to see the whole bartending life and... The work that goes behind it and getting ready and doing my lashes and doing my hair and getting dressed keep on watching here's my bartending bag i thought it'd be helpful to show you what is in it um i think that you should be prepared you never know sometimes you might have to work a double unexpectedly if someone calls out and i'd rather just be prepared and not prepared so let's get right into it I always bring pens with me because, let's face it, you guys love stealing our pens. My bottle opener, which I keep on me at all times, is usually attached to whatever bottoms I'm wearing. Hand sanitizer, required to wear masks while, we at work, while we're at work, so this is my mask that I'll be wearing. Hand cream, deodorant because you don't want to be funky funky. These are the perfumes that I like to switch between for work Chloe and Dolce & Gabbana light blue chapstick hairbrush because your hair does get tangled if you are allowed to have it down lip gloss my external battery pack a hair tie a power bar because you never know when you're gonna get a chance to eat if it's really busy my ID and a credit card and some cash of course, my cell phone. A charger. A card and then my bar card that is required by the city. Gum, because your breath got to be smelling good. You can't be all hot and shit talking to customers. Feminine products, just in case you or your co-worker is in an emergency. Water bottle my makeup bag which I have like touch-up things in I don't keep my foundation in here or anything expensive because this does stay in my locker so I just have like a bronzer um, an HD powder for shine and this pouch so this is the bag I keep with me at all times it will have my wallet inside I'll put my wallet in here my bar cards and swipe card my pens gum my power bar cell phone charger now I'm looking for my wine key I like to just use this as my bottle opener so I'll wear this on me so all of these things go in my carry along with me bag anyway yeah so these are the contents of my bartending bag I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this was helpful let me know if you guys have any questions of course this is all tailored to my needs. You might have other needs, but this works for me. I am just getting ready for my first shift back. I've already um, showered. I'm gonna be like half inside, half outdoors today. Well, I don't like to wear like heavy eye makeup usually, so I will just do like liner and lashes. And then especially because I'm wearing a mask, I want my eyes to pop today, so. I just hope it isn't too hot out because I am going to be outdoors for a little bit, probably sweating my balls off, but that's okay. So you see how it like kind of 
erases all the dark stuff. Of course, like we all have blemishes, you know. It's actually 9.30 right now. And I have to be there at 11. So that means I got to leave by like 10. I'm just going to put a little foundation. But yeah, all right guys, I'm going to finish up here. I'm gonna set under my eyes with this e.l.f. HD powder. It's really white. I only put a little, use this. I can't but anyway I'm gonna try my best but when I come back I will have liner on hey guys I'm back I did my liner off camera because I cannot do it on camera it's not the best it isn't as winged as I wanted it to be but this is what we're gonna get today so good I brewed this um, two days ago I put it in the fridge in my Starbucks cup and I only add ice and almond creamer to it. It's so delicious. See you guys when I'm dressed and my hair is done. This sucks. I completely forgot that there is background music and I have to do a voiceover because it contains copyrighted material so it won't be monetized. Anyway, um, I'm just pretty much saying that we are busy outside and I'm inside bartending and hosting at the same time and I've been having a lot of to-go drinks and this is my outfit. It is day two. I was unable to record yesterday because we were so busy and by the time I got home I was so tired. My feet are numb right now. My body was numb. I'm exhausted. I had to wash my hair today. Yesterday I didn't wash it as you know. So today I'm just like doing whatever makeup. I put a little bit of eyeshadow on, which I don't normally do. I am not into eyeshadow, but I wanted to try something different. Um, and I'm just doing my eyebrows right now. Um, yeah. And I have to take off my gel nail polish. I have to do my hair and get dressed. And I have to do all of this in about 40 minutes, so wish me luck and I think today I'm gonna attempt to just throw on some lashes um, yesterday was fun it was so nice to be around humans it was so nice to see people out enjoying their lives dining out eating out you know I just want to send a quick reminder to all of you people who have never worked in hospitality Especially during these times, um, there are some people who are just difficult naturally um, and rude. Now, we are all trying our best to accommodate everyone as best we can, make everyone feel comfortable and safe. So please, bear with us and don't be rude. That's it for that part. When we tell you you cannot do something, you cannot do it. There are no exceptions. There are really no exceptions. I don't care who you are. 
if I say no, you can't. And if you are a Karen and you'd like to speak with the manager, I am more than happy to bring the manager out. And the manager is most likely going to tell you the same thing. So that was my PSA for all of this. I look crazy. Don't mind me. I'm really trying right now. Um, yesterday I wore, you saw what I wore. And I actually post on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my IG is Tanya.noemi. Alright guys, I'll see you when I'm done. Because I really just got to hurry up and get ready. Rushing to get ready and I didn't have time to vlog my makeup look. But anyway, this is it. I put on lashes today and I curled my hair and I'll see you guys there. <sighs> hey guys, so it is day three. I am exhausted. Today I'm going to put my hair up in a high ponytail. And just do a full face of makeup as best I can because we do have to wear masks. So I'm doing, I'm going to try to avoid a lot of makeup down here and just focus on my eyes again. Excuse this. I am doing color correcting because I need color correcting today. Especially today. I have dark circles under my eyes. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm just tired. Anyway, I'm going to finish doing my makeup. I look a hot mess. I really do. It looks really pale, but trust me, it'll all blend together. We've had this talk two other times already. Um, and again, excuse my mess in the background. <sighs> I have not gotten around to cleaning my closet the next day, so I really don't have time right now to clean or cook or do anything like that. So this is what my life is when I am busy working. It's just constant non-stop on the go on the go and a lot of people don't understand that and think that I don't want to hang out with them or you know I have all these different friends these social media friends or you know like alleging to these fake friendships but in reality I don't have many friends I know a lot of people because of the industry that I'm in and it's that simple I don't feel like I need to explain myself to anyone on why I can't go somewhere, why I can't go to a party, why I can't go to a family party. I'm working. I'm working towards my future so that my future children don't have to work as hard as me. And if you can't understand that, you don't need to be in my life. It's really that simple. And I really don't care. If you don't already know me, you know that I don't give a shit. Especially when you are trying to play the victim and, oh, she never wants to do this. She never wants to do this. Oh, you know, no. Sorry, guys. I'm working on me. Y'all need to work on you. I'm done getting ready. Seriously, all I did was put on a little foundation, concealer, eyeliner, mascara, painted in my eyebrows, a little bit of gloss, and my hair is in a high pony today. It's really hot here. Um, it is 10.30, I have to be at work at 11, so I'm running a little late, but it is what it is. I'll get there when I get there. It's gonna be pretty busy today, it's Friday. Everyone's gonna be out drinking and dining out and eating, so. And I can't wait until this shift is over because I am seriously just spent. And tomorrow I'm working a private party, so I do wanna take you along with me for that one. That private party is in a friend's backyard. I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a quick update that I am ready. I'm trying not to show you my shirt because it says the name of the place I work at. So I usually don't wear these shirts out because I just don't like people knowing where I work. If I'm walking the street on break or if I'm like leaving my house. But today I was like, whatever. I don't feel like bringing extra clothes and I don't feel like changing. So here we are. Anyway, guys, um, let me go and I'll see you guys at the bar. And this is probably why I never do vlogs behind the bar because there's always music playing. But I am just saying that we have a bunch of outdoor tables and I'm literally standing behind the bar right now and just making drinks for the servers and for to go drinks. I have to wear a mask, but that's okay. I'm still looking cute. I am so tired today. I forgot to film the rest of my night at work. We just were so busy. It was literally two of us. 
one was a server and I was the bartender. Um, but I'm just tired. My feet are achy. I just, I'm done. So it went really well. Today is Saturday. I'm on my way to a family party. And then I'm working a private event tonight. So I know I remember telling you guys that I was going to bring you along for that. So I will do that, um, you know, throughout my day. When I get there, I'll show you how my setup is, how many people are there, and all of that. Excuse me. I am just, I'm so tired. But anyway, time for some family time. And then we're going to go make some more money. Bye, guys. See you at the party. All right, guys, this is me being real. This is what I need to do in order to recover from working. <laughs> this is a face mask that I got um, from, hmm, I believe it was Walmart, but this is the face mask. Vitamin C and collagen. It says to leave on for 10 minutes and it says to lay back and relax so that's exactly what i'm doing and i figured since i'm ending my bartending vlog with you guys i'd show you how i recover from working and this is what i do i like to do face masks i like to just jump in bed with comfy pjs of course i showered already and yeah so i brought you guys along with me for work um you guys got a chance to see how busy I am and how on the go I can be sometimes work was good overall it was interesting to be back it was interesting to Maddie don't mind her she's like playing with her toys it was interesting to be back to see people out one thing's for sure people are still spending money right now don't think that people aren't people are always going to spend money on dining out and drinking so if you guys have any questions about this whole bartending lifestyle and you know the type of place i work at how much money i make any questions if you need help starting if you want to you know want some tips and tricks and advice feel free to comment below and i'm happy to give you guys some insight on this industry i've been doing it on and off now for a few years <laughs> and um, I enjoy it you know and it's it's nice to make the extra cash so it's Sunday I'm relaxing I am just gonna relax all day today um, after I do this face mask I think I'm gonna put my feet on like um, my foot massager I got that foot massager on Amazon it's freaking awesome for those that are always on your feet or for those that just like want to get a foot massager I purchased this one on Amazon. I'll try to find the link for you guys and I'll link it down below. I'll link it down below. It's really helpful. And who doesn't want a massage? Like, come on. I think I paid like $65 for the machine or something. But anyway, it's Sunday. I worked that private event yesterday. It was really fun. Um, mostly everyone was drinking frozen drinks, mixed drinks like Tito's and Club, things like that, very easy, and shots. So um, I was there from like 6 to 11.30, nothing crazy. I love working with this family. They're awesome. I actually know the girl from high school, so whenever she has a party and she can't find anyone, she asks me to work, so I'm, I'm always happy to work with them. Um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys real-life day in my life uh few days in my life on what it's like in the bartending world and this is what you get i'm gonna take it down try to go to sleep early tonight i'm in the mood for pizza i might just order pizza i don't know and just catch up on my youtube videos so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and of course if you have any questions comment down below and i'll be happy to answer them for you anyway guys it was nice showing you guys around showing you one of the many jobs that i do bartending is not my only job it is my side hustle and yeah 
so I guess I'll see you guys in my next vlog and stay safe everyone love you